Good morning, my Sin City crew. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's a blessed Wednesday, everybody. It's a blessed Wednesday. Yes, I'm out and about early this Wednesday morning. This blessed Wednesday morning, I must say. Yes, yes I am. I'm up and out. About to go get my lashes done, y'all. I gotta get my lashes done. I hadn't got my lashes done in a while, so I'm uh, going to get my lashes done this morning. And I'm out. I have some things I have to do this evening. Yes, I do. And y'all know how that is. Boy, boy, boy. Yes. I just wanted to come and do a video this morning because I hadn't did one in a uh, what couple of days or so. And I think my uh, last video was kind of blurry. I told my lightning on my phone is kind of messed up. So forgive me if y'all couldn't see because somebody uh, inboxed me and was like, uh, my video was, uh, you know, really blurry and everything. So I told you my lightning on my phone is really, really messed up. I'm going to have to give me another phone, y'all. I'm trying to wait. Because the, the man, we went to um, my uh, phone service uh, provider, and uh, they were saying that if I wait like three more months, I'll be done. Well, I think I'm almost done because it's been, what, two months ago since I've been. It's probably been longer than that. It's probably time for an upgrade, y'all. So, I'm probably going to end up checking it out. Uh, I just hate to have to transfer everything over because they ne I don't think I saved mine in my iCloud. I don't think all my information is saved in my iCloud. So, it, I have to download, uh, let it download, and it takes so long to do that, you know. And I hate to leave my phone with the uh, uh, my phone provider because, you know, hey, who's to say if they're going to my phone or not? I don't know. So, I just be skeptic about doing that. I, I like all my stuff to just transfer over. You know what I'm saying? So, but I never, for some reason, all my information do not download in my iCloud. So I have to, you pretty much do it, you know, manually. And it's a headache. So I think that's why I've been kind of putting it off to try to get me another phone, you know. But anyway, I know it's about time because this phone is getting on my last nerve. Walt keep telling me to go get the phone that he got. Um, I don't uh, uh, Galaxy something, some kind of phone he got. But I don't even know how to, you know, really deal with those phones because I've been with iPhone forever, you know what I'm saying? And I don't even know how to work another phone. I don't think I do. I probably do. I just never tried. You can't, you can't say you can't do nothing until you try. You see what I'm saying? You're never supposed to give up. So, with that being said, I'm going to give me another phone. But until then, I hope y'all can deal with the lightning on my phone. I done went in my settings and tried to, you know, I think it's just my phone. I think it's because I've been had this phone, what, uh, probably two years now. And I usually been upgraded like uh, every year or something like that. But this time I've been had it a while. Cause like I said, I hate to go through that manual stuff that you had to download and and then sometimes I have to leave my phone with the phone provider and I don't like doing it. So with that being said, I don't know. So anyway, how is everybody doing? Enough about me. What's up with everybody else? How is everybody doing on this blessed Wednesday? It is a blessed Wednesday and we are blessed to be here. That's for sure. That is for sure. I got to go back and uh, to my primary doctor, y'all. It's been uh, three months. I think it's been three months now since my COVID. And I went to her like, what, two weeks after I got out of the hospital. So it's about time for me to go get my... Um, I have to see her like every three months. Well, not every three months. Let me let me not say that. Um, I have to see her because I before I had COVID, I seen her a month before then. So like every June or July, she want me to come and get my annual, you know, checkup. But she told me the last time I went to come in three months because what it is, I have high cholesterol and. You know, she got me on those pills. So I'm almost running out of those pills. And I think she want to check it again, you know. So she said, 
when I last seen her, she was like, well, we'll see you in three months. So I don't want to say I have to see her every three months. Let me change that. that that's not true. Um, once a year. And that's pretty good for me, you know. As long as I'm healthy, I'm doing good. Um, she, she was saying that my blood pressure... Uh, it's really, you know, been looking good. Uh, every time I come to her, my blood pressure is, is um, you know, where it need to be. So I'm hoping she uh, will wean me off of my blood pressure medicine as well, you know. But I don't know. Hey, it is what it is. That's how I look at it. It is what it is, you know. If it's going to, you know, help me, keep me on it. You know what I'm saying? But if I don't need it, she can take me off. So, Yep. It's kind of chilly out here this morning, y'all. I'm talking like it's really chilly. You all see I got my jacket on and everything. I usually don't have my jacket on in the morning time. But the, it's the flu season, so I don't want the flu. You hear me? The flu is like COVID. You got that cold, and, and I don't want that. I don't need it because I don't take the flu shot uh, either, y'all. I'm not going to take a flu shot because, like I told y'all once before, I think I told y'all, it was a bad experience uh, with somebody I knew. And uh, she took the flu shot and she didn't make it. So, you know. And I know that's not for everybody. I know that's not for everybody. But, you know, I'm 52. I never took the flu shot. So, I feel like, hey, I've been doing good without it. I'm not going to, you know, risk it, you know, and take it. Take the flu shot. Because I try, what I try to do is just, I try to keep a lot of medicine, a lot of vitamins, and I, I take them, you know, and I try to keep myself up and running, you know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, I don't feel like, you know, the need to, you know, start taking a flu shot anyway, and I'm not going to start taking it. So, I mean, it's a gamble with everything you do in life, you know what I'm saying? It's just a gamble. Whatever you do in life is a gamble, y'all. So we don't know, you know, that's just like uh, with anything, with anything you're going through is a gamble you, because no one, no two people are the same. Their health is not the same. And just because it happened to them, that, that don't mean it's going to happen to you. You know what I'm saying? But I still, you know, in the back of my head, I'm like, okay, I haven't taken it in 52 years. I'm not going to start, you know, just keep doing what I've been doing, you know, keeping my medicine, keeping my vitamins. Uh, if I have a little runny nose or whatever, take my cold medicine, you know, stuff like that. So I'm good. Like I said, I'm, I think I'm uh, healthy. I think everything is good with me. It's just the high blood pressure and uh, what, probably what, four months ago, found out I had high cholesterol. So it's like, hey, that's not really, really too bad because if you look at it, shit, half of America have high blood pressure. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it's just something that I guess we're going to get as we get older. Because I, when I was younger, I didn't have all these problems. You know what I'm saying? But when I was at Amazon um, in 2019, and I, and that's, and you know what? It's the, as a matter of fact, it was during the time that um, I think I had COVID. But that's before COVID came out. You know, uh, because I was I was really really uh, having bad chest pains and uh, but they they diagnosed me as an upper respiratory infection, right? Of course, um, and then they found out my so I was crying that day because I had you know my chest was hurting so bad at work. So I guess by me crying, it made it look like my blood pressure was up. And your blood pressure tends to go up when you're excited, crying, or, you know, in distress or whatever the case may be. So I was in distress, you know, I was hurting. So they, they took my blood pressure. Uh, the paramedics did it first. Then when I got to the hospital, it was still up. So that's when they determined, I, you know, my blood pressure was high. And um, they put me on high blood pressure medicine. And I've been on it ever since 2019. And I think, like I said, I think I had COVID then uh, because that's where all the chest pains and like the tightening of my chest and I couldn't breathe and they was giving me breathing treatments and all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, but I'm still here, you know, by the grace of God. Uh, that's why I try to, you know, stay positive, 
um, have faith. That's more important than anything. It's faith, especially when you go through, you know, so much as far as your health, as far as, you know, what I went through this past uh, three months, three months ago, you know, with the COVID and everything, you have to have faith and believe that God's going to bring you through it. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I did, you know. I never thought that I wouldn't come out that hospital, you know what I'm saying? Which I felt like that, you know what I'm saying? But I, I never said it, but I did say, I said, um, I told my kids, I said, I, I can't do this, you know what I'm saying? But I never said, I, 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 I'm, you know, I'm not going to come out of here. I just said, I don't know if I can do this or not. I'm talking about the not getting up, using the restroom, and, you know, just a lot of things that I was going through when I was in the hospital. But I never gave up, you know. And that's what it is. You have to be strong. See, the only the only people survive are the strong. The strong survives, you know, whether you know it or not. Only the strong survive. When you're weak, you know, it's going to take you down through there. Everything in life will take you down through there when you're weak. When you're, when you're weak, everything will take you down. But when you're strong, you will live to see another day. And that's on period. But anyway, you guys, I'm at the uh, the last place, y'all. So I'm going to run in here. I hope they open. I'm going to run in here and uh, get my lashes done. They usually be open. It's not. They ain't open. I wonder what time they open. Hold uh. on. I use I hadn't been here in a minute, but they usually be open by nine or nine thirty. They might probably open at nine thirty. So, but anyway, I'm gonna end this video and go in here. Well, I'm go I'm gonna go up here and see what time they open anyway. And let me see if I can see from here. And I can't. These people walking around here. Mm. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to see what time they open and uh, go in here and get my lashes done and everything. And I will see you guys on the next video.